Hey everybody, um, <clears throat> today I wanted to talk a little bit about the Bradford G Cleaver as well as the G Necker. I haven't seen a whole lot of reviews on either of them. Uh, so I recently was able to order a couple of Bradford had a sale over the, uh, I think, I think just past Black Friday and they had the uh, G Necker and the G Cleaver uh, on sale including the sheaths for uh, 10, 20 bucks off. So I was kind of interested in it for a while, being a, kind of a fan of neck knives and fixed blades, smaller ones specifically. So um, I went ahead and ordered one. I think I'm probably going to go ahead and give one of them away to a buddy of mine. But I uh, thought I'd bring both out, and do a little unboxing, show you what's in the box, uh, and do a little side by side comparison next to. Uh, a couple similar uh, good knives that I enjoy carrying on a daily basis. So uh, first let's bring out the G Necker. <clears throat> this is what you get in the box from Bradford. It's pretty simple. Sticker made in the USA. Care and instruction sheet. Pretty simple stuff. And a business card. And then along with the knife, you get a Kydex sheath and a paracord wrap, which I don't know if I would use this uh, to wear around my neck per se. I'm, I'm more interested in the, the ball and chain type of uh, chains just for safety reasons. But uh, this is what you get in the box. The sheath has got uh, pretty good retention on it. Clicks into place nicely, doesn't rattle. At least I can't hear any. And it does take a little bit of force to get the knife out. But I'm assuming that over time that'll loosen up a bit. It's a pretty, pretty high quality sheath, pretty big for the size of knife that it is. I haven't worn it yet, uh, so I can't really say how comfortable it is to wear. Um, but what I do like to see is that it does have a hole at the top of the sheath that doesn't allow moisture to rest in there, so that's good. Uh, I don't know what was included in the sale, but I went ahead with the LMAX uh, coated black blades, and this is what you get. A nice little neck knife. Um, stats on the G-necker, as shown here. Uh, weight is about two and five eighths ounces. The length of the blade is approximately five and seven eighths inches long from tip of the blade to the butt of the handle. And the blade length is about two and three quarters. A pretty hefty, hefty blade for such a small blade. Um, you see you've got <clears throat> the Bradford knives kind of insignia built into the handle there. I think that's an, an interesting touch. I don't know if I'll wrap the handle or not in paracord or some similar material, but I do like the fact that it has a hole for a paracord or a lanyard on the butt of the handle. Um, I can get about a three finger grip on it. It's comfortable, but I think I would, I, I think I wouldn't mind putting a little bit of paracord on the end there just to give yourself a little extra grip. It's a nice looking blade. It's got some good features. I like the jimping at the top of the handle here. It's comfortable in hand. It's lightweight, but feels very, very, it's, it's a sturdy little blade. I like it a lot. Uh, same package deal for the G Cleaver, same box. Same instructions inside. The Kydex sheath a bit different due to the uh, shape of the blade, um, but you get the same uh, paracord, the same bit of paracord included with this blade. And this is the Guardian G Cleaver here. The G Cleaver has a weight of 2.5 ounces, so it's 
just a tad bit lighter than the uh, G-Necker version. Same steel, same coating, same look as the G-Necker, just uh, in a cleaver shape. You've got your jimping there on the handle, uh, hole for some paracord or some other type of lanyard. Pretty nice looking blade. I haven't used either yet, so I can't say how they cut, uh, how they perform under certain, you know, under certain conditions. But uh, nice little knife. I'm, I'm glad that I got these while they were on sale because I've been interested in them for quite some time. Um, I suppose we could do a side by side comparison of the two up against a couple other knives that I have in my collection. I've got this Essie Azula. I've also got a Topps MSK 2.5. This one's seen some stuff. It's a little, little messed up, but very nice knife. And the small but mighty CRKT Minimalist. <laughs> so side by side with some of those knives, you'll see it's it's roughly about the same size as. This tops blade, I would say, maybe a bit smaller. The SE's definitely got some more belly to the knife. But the blade thickness is about the same. Due to the fact that it has no scales, um, I don't have weights for either the tops or the SE, but I'm sure that these blades are significantly heavier than the uh, than the Bradford G Necker G Cleaver without scales on them. I don't know if they sell scales for them. I, I might be interested in seeing if they do have scales for them at some point because I could see those definitely being uh, beneficial based on your needs for a knife. But uh, yeah, there you go.